I just realized that we didn't finish all the lessons in class on Thursday, so I'm going to do two short videos for you. This is, you might have already done this lesson, this is lesson 18, B, we didn't get to, about similar triangles. The first thing, the definition of similar triangles. Two triangles are similar if they have the same shape and they look alike, but more than that, they're similar triangles if all the angles are the same. You'll notice these two triangles are similar triangles. They have the same shape. And most importantly, the angles are all the same. The sides are different ratios, but all the angles are the same. In the book, when they teach you to do this, they use a scale factor, where they take the two, the ones that have numbers, like this one over this one, or this one over this one. They say the scale factor is 3 over 4. I've never seen scale factor used outside of Saxon, so we're going to do it the way that um, I've seen used before and taught before. It's just using ratios. If two triangles are similar, then their size is proportional. So you set up proportions or ratios. So in order to do this problem, we sometimes the triangles aren't faced the same direction. You'll notice these two are both both go in the exact same way. So the first thing you want to do is either in your mind or on paper make the triangles look exactly the same way. Then you can set up ratios. So we use the number part first. So we have four over three. So we just say um, 4 over 3 equals, and then you pick another two sides. Just make sure that this triangle, if you start with it on top, that this triangle, the, the variable, um, and this one on bottom, and when you do the, the variable part, you put the number on this one on top and the variable on this one on the bottom. So just keep in the same order. <coughs> the, this triangle is always on top. I'm trying to say. So, 4 over 3, so we can do the x's or the y's, it doesn't matter, so we'll just do 7 over y, because that y corresponds to 7, 3 corresponds to 4, and then just do your cross multiply, under this, cross multiply that way, equals this way, so you get 4y equals 21, and we divide both sides by 4, and we get y equals 21 over 4. Let's do the x's. You do it the same way. We're going to use the ones that don't have variables first. So we're going to say 4 over 3 equals, and then we have, we're doing x's. So this triangle went on top the first time, so it has to go on top the second time. 5 over x cross multiply. So we get 4x equals 15. x equals 15 over 4. And that's all there is to doing similar triangles, finding the sides and the middle. That's it for the video on lesson 18. I hope I can figure out how to stop it here.